Hello everyone. Today we are going to explore this particular feature called Select and Explore and we are going to talk about how you can actually use this feature in all the different ways to, to further your research. Now we all know literature analysis can be mind-boggling. Today's session would be primarily focusing on the particular aspect of literature analysis that makes it so difficult which is the on-the-fly need of deeper investigation while you are reading a particular paper. And one particular aspect of it is that while you will be reading a paper, uh, there will be plenty of times where you might be uh, uh, bumping into different types of concepts which you are not aware of or concepts which you are partially aware of or concepts which you may have forgotten some things. Uh, and you want to re have a quick recap about that particular thing or there might be new things coming up about that concept and you want to know more about that. So that's one thing and once you have understood the particular paper then there might be various aspects of the paper which you, you know on the basis of which you might want to explore more research papers on the fly to increase your your depth of literature survey and also to increase your depth of um, literature analysis. So it all boils down to as suggested in this particular cartoon you might end up spending all the day reading a particular paper but because there are so many things to absorb so many things to understand that if somebody asks you the question about what was the paper about then you might not be in a position to to explain the paper properly so that is not something that is very desirable there are ways in which uh, you can actually comprehend a paper on the fly and do that too very quickly so this is the website raster.io people who are familiar you would see that you know you can actually have multiple different types of research projects i'm going to go into this project which is research paper summarizer and when i walk into my research project i see that i have all this bunch of papers that's kind of my universe i'm constantly adding more and more papers i'm constantly reading more papers let me just show you one of these papers which i'm currently reading and show you how you can actually use select and explore feature to have much quicker understanding of certain concepts so let's say that this is one paper it's about uh, summarization using certain kind of neural network models i am very new to this subject imagine the very first concept that struck me was language models and i am not too familiar with what language models are so i can just select that particular concept and then I can look up all these different kinds of complementary resources starting from Wikipedia to online lectures again which would comprise of all the uh, tier 1 conference and workshop uh, recordings or online tutorials and also all kinds of blogs and uh, research article magazines and, and other kind of light reads which are easier to understand. Let me just click on the Wikipedia and as you can see I got plenty of different uh, types of language models uh, that I can have a quick look at. I may be interested in reading it right now or maybe I can just attach it with that particular section. As you can see I can keep attaching all the uh, articles that I am interested in that gets attached as an inline attachment to this particular section. I may also want to look into certain kind of uh, online lectures on it. Everybody is uh, quite spot on, but let me choose something that is more sort of easier for me. Maybe this is something. And then I can also choose different types of light reads or magazine articles. And maybe the first one is actually very good. The second one is also very good and I can keep attaching it. Later on, I can come back to my attachments and I can just click on this. I can see all these attachments over here. These are all connected with this particular section called language models. So this is the way I can very quickly and I also see that, okay, I only want to look into my wiki articles so I can just filter it. Okay, so having said that, let's walk into the other use case 
which is that many times when I'm reading a paper, I might want to explore more papers on particular aspects of the paper. Let's say this paper, what I can do is, let's say I go to this particular section which talks about the approach authors have taken and I can select this entire paragraph and then I can go and click on research articles. I can click on all those papers like this one is really good, this one is also very good and this one is also very good. So, and then again, later on, I can come back to those papers and I can see all my uh, papers which I attached. So, that's a way in which I can make sure that I am uh, always exploring the right kind of resources according to what I am currently interested in, which means that later on I might walk into more on the data sets aspect, uh, you know, and I want to know more papers which have used the same kind of data set for similar kind of purpose research goal so I can again select this thing and I can look into all the other papers that are that have used the same kind of data set and I can attach these papers and then again if required I can go into it and I can look into all these papers which I attached so that's the way in which you can go to any particular aspect of the paper and just select on that and then select on the particular research on, on literature button and all the papers will come up and then it, it gets attached to that particular section that's how everything is all organized in racks one thing i need to tell everyone that some people think that select and explore is all about exploring other papers which are dealing with the same topic in terms of the title of the paper but that's actually not so as shown you can walk into any particular aspect of the paper which may or may not be related with the title of the paper but which may be related with some other aspect of the paper uh, thanks for watching the video